These ranch chicken pockets are absolutely delicious. They are cheesy, they are creamy, and they are my daughter's favorite. Each bite is filled with chicken and a hint of ranch. Let's make it. I am starting with a chicken breast. I am using one chicken breast and this is going to make four pockets. If you want to make more, then use additional chicken breast. We're going to start by slicing this chicken breast in half. And then we're going to slice following the natural lines of the chicken. We want to make sure that the chicken is diced in small bite-sized pieces. After you cut your strips, then you're going to go and you're going to cut your strips into cubes. All your cubes should be around the same size so your chicken can cook evenly. It is time to season the chicken. I always keep one hand clean and one hand that I use to mix the meat. We are going to season this lightly with some salt. You want to be very light with the salt because later we're going to add some ranch seasoning. We're also going to season this with black pepper and one of my favorite seasonings, garlic powder. Use your mixing hand and get that all mixed in. And then it's time to add our vegetables. I am adding onion because I absolutely love the flavor of onion in this recipe. If you like, you can add whatever type of vegetables you want. You can add green pepper, you can add mushroom, but a sure delicious way to make this spectacular is to use onion. We're going to mix the onion with the chicken. And then once everything is combined, it is time to cook. I have my skillet already heating up. To this, I added one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And now I'm going to add the chicken and diced onion mixture. And you are going to cook this at a medium heat until your chicken is all the way cooked. That means there is no pink. We want this to be nice and firm. And you can tell when your chicken is done because it turns all the way white. You want your chicken to be white. Once your chicken is finished, we are going to put it into a bowl and we're going to let it cool for about five minutes. After it's cooled down a little bit, we're going to add about a half a cup of whipped whipped cream, a cup of cheddar cheese, and about two tablespoons of ranch seasoning. Be very careful with the ranch because it does add salt and we don't want these to be too salty. You're going to stir this until everything is mixed. And now it's time to fill our croissant rolls. I don't know about you, but I absolutely am terrified when I'm opening the croissant rolls. It's something about that pop that kind of scares me. But this one didn't, didn't pop. So I had to bang it twice on the counter in order to get it open. Once it's open, we're going to unroll these. Now. There's going to be four squares, eight triangles, four squares. We want to divide these in squares. So the two triangles are going to stick together and we just want the big square. When we have the square separated, we're going to roll these out. I have a rolling pin. You can use a cup or whatever mechanism you need to roll them out. You are going to load that mixture in the croissant and you're going to fold these. I like to fold the sides in first and then we're going to go with the ends. And then this is going to make a nice little pocket of goodness that we're going to bake. Now, what I do is I like to squeeze the dough together to make sure I have no openings so nothing leaks out. Once you have achieved the look that you want, you are going to put this on a non-greased cooking sheet because we're going to put these in the oven. And continue to make your pockets until your cooking sheet is all filled up and they're ready for the oven. I want to show you this one more time and I'm going to show you a little trick that I do to make them extra cheesy. After I roll it out, 
to the thinness that I like. And they are absolutely loaded with that beautiful chicken mixture. I am also going to top it with some additional cheddar cheese. Yes, you heard right, some additional cheddar cheese. This is going to give you that beautiful cheese pull when you take that first bite. I'm going to show you how to roll these again. You want to roll your sides in first, and then you're going to take the ends and you're going to fold them over. And this creates a nice, beautiful pocket for all that cheesy, ranchy, creamy feeling to sit in. Once your pockets are filled and on your baking sheet, we are going to cut a slit at the top of every one. This is going to allow steam to release from your pockets and ensure that they don't get soggy. Once the slit is cut on the top of each, we are going to brush these with an egg wash. We're going to simply take an egg, we're going to beat it, and once it's beat to a nice consistency, we're going to take a brush and we are going to just baste every single pocket with this egg wash. This egg wash is going to not only seal the ends, but also make these nice golden and brown. And that is exactly what we want. If you don't have a brush, use a paper towel or use your finger. You are going to bake these in the oven at 375 for approximately 15 to 18 minutes. It just depends on your stove. Make sure you check on them. And when they look this golden brown and delicious, you're going to remove them and we are going to brush them with some garlic butter. This is just a combination of butter, garlic powder, and dried parsley. Look how delicious and scrumptious these look. It's time to serve them up. Ranch chicken pockets. Bon appetit. Let's eat.